that is that Euclid and and uh, uh, Euclid and at the shopping center in your ward. ward. There you? must be a sign there stated 50 feet. It's a four-way stop or whatever. There is nothing there. Mm -hmm. If you have an accident there, somebody, the city is going to be. Uh, there are potholes. Uh, there are potholes in many, many places, and we certainly appreciate those people uh, who say something. And those of you who know, know this, that I've made this statement several times. If we had enough money to patch potholes as they occur all the time, we would patch them all the time as they occur. It's as simple as that. If we don't patch them, which there are some cases we haven't been able to, it's because we do not have the resources available to do so. Traffic lights on blink. That traffic light is broken. Uh, members of council are aware of that, and it costs about $30,000 to fix. Uh, we're searching for a revenue source that would allow us to fix that traffic signal. Certainly, we'd rather have a full functioning traffic signal than a non-functioning traffic signal. Consequently, there's a traffic law in Ohio that says if there's a blinking red light, you stop and treat it like a stop sign. In order to reinforce that fact, we did take some stop signs and put them up at the light. Some people are amused by that, but the reality is whether we put a stop sign up there or not, the traffic law in Ohio is if there is a blinking red light, you stop. We just want to remind people of that. You know, I could go on and on and on about these things and, and any litany of, of issues that people may have, but they all boil down to symptoms that are the result of the same root cause, or just a couple of causes. For years in East Cleveland, we've been treating these issues like they're one after the other, and in some cases, unrelated. We attribute them to a fault of an elected official or a fault of an appointed official who works for the city. But the reality is, there are no individual's fault, there are no body's fault. There are structural deficiencies based on the economic formula that funds East Cleveland because it doesn't work anymore. East Cleveland has 17,000 people, 5,000 of whom work. The types of jobs this place is built for and once inhabited by 